chicken au gratin casserole. You can serve this over pasta, rice, or potatoes. This is kind of reminiscent of flavors from a chicken pot pie without that crust. It's a very comforting dish, very fast to put together, and it's gonna be delicious. The first layer is going to be the chicken. Now you're going to use pre-cooked chicken for this recipe. Now whether you bake your own chicken, whether you boil your own chicken, put it in the crock pot and let it cook until it's nice and tender. I am using rotisserie chicken. We picked up a few yesterday. We took off the white meat from the rotisseries. And then I'm just gonna chop this up. You want about four cups. Now, however you get your cooked chicken, you wanna make sure that it's flavored. This is gonna be the bottom layer of the casserole. So I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. You wanna make sure that people can eat your casserole. It smells so delicious, this rotisserie chicken. We're definitely gonna be making a nine by 13 casserole. I got hungry people and they take leftovers to work, eat it when they come home and they always like to just grab something and heat it up in the, from the refrigerator. So that's why I make a lot of casseroles. Okay, we're gonna spray a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. There we go. Place all of the chicken into the bottom of the casserole dish. Nice and evenly. Make sure it's nice and loose. That way it can absorb a lot of the flavor that's gonna go in. You don't wanna pack your chicken in. Just get it in there nice and evenly. Like that. Frozen vegetables. We're gonna put that on top of our chicken. You want about 12 to 16 ounces, whatever you have. My husband picked up broccoli, corn, and red pepper blend, so that's gonna go on top. You can use any kind of frozen vegetables you like. If you like the peas and carrots, or the Normandy blend, which has the broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower, y'all, it's your casserole. So we're gonna lightly spread it across the chicken. That's a big piece. <laughs> this looks like a fun blend. There's 16 ounces in this package here, so I'm just gonna put it all in. Just gonna evenly spread it out. There we go. All right, this is what I'm using right here. We're gonna make a mixture that we're gonna pour over the top of our vegetables here that's gonna add some delicious flavor all the way through the casserole. We're gonna start off with two cans of cream of soup. These are 10.5 ounces each. You can use cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever cream of soups you like. I'm using a cream of chicken and a cream of celery. Let's put both of those into a large mixing bowl. We're gonna pour half a cup of milk into the can. I'm just going to kind of stir that in to get all that other soup out of the can. Pour that into the second can and get all that goodness out of there. We'll add that. We're going to add in eight ounces of sour cream. We're definitely giving this a lot of creaminess. There we go. We're gonna flavor this up with salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, black pepper, quarter of a teaspoon. 
We're going to go in with some garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. Take your whisk, blend this all together. If you like cream of mushroom soup, you can certainly put that in instead of one of the other soups. Whatever you like. That smells delicious in there. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Mm. Smells good. All right, let's bring our casserole dish over. We're going to pour the mixture all over the vegetables. Mm. Ooh, make sure you get it all out of there. All right, we're going to take a spatula, kind of smooth it out. And once it starts baking, I mean, it's going to go all into the vegetables, the chicken, and it's going to be a delicious flavor. We're going to place one sleeve of Ritz crackers into a Ziploc bag and crush them up good. Make sure you close your Ziploc bag and then start crushing. Alright, we're going to put this into a bowl. We're going to melt four tablespoons of butter. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Pour it over your crackers. Give it a mix till all the crackers are coated with the butter. This is perfect. We're going to bring over the casserole. We're going to evenly place the crumb mixture on top. There we go. Now, if y'all know Joseph, you know that if I am making a casserole and I do not put cheese in it, he's going to have a say about it. <laughs> Cheddar cheese, nice and shredded. We're going to add it to it. Now, if I made a dish and didn't put cheese on it, he would put it on his plate, put cheese on it, and melt it in the microwave. Yeah, he's a cheeseaholic. Just a light coating of cheese. You don't want to drown it. All right. What do y'all think? See those layers? The chicken, the vegetables, the mixture. We're going to place this in the oven that I've preheated at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes until everything is heated through and that cheese is nice and golden brown on top and melted. Chicken au gratin casserole on a plate of egg noodles that we just buttered. Look at that creaminess. I'm going to grab a fork, give this a try for you. Here's my bite. Mmm. That is so creamy. Love those flavors in there. Make sure you put those seasonings in there. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, any other flavors you like. Jazz it up. That's the bomb. <laughs> I love that over the pasta right there. You can keep the carbs out of the dish and put it on the carb on your plate and just eat it like it is. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share this video with family and friends. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Everyone, make sure you're hitting that bell notification. That way you're always notified when recipes like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.